Welcome back, thank you so much for tuning in. You are with your extended family here on Express as we set sail for a brand new week and take a look at what's happening on the entertainment front. Locally, lots on the go this week. Lots yeah? on the go. Now, you know what? We might not get to see Ray Nietling in a Speedo these days, but you know what? Yeah. It's okay because <laughs> we are getting a glimpse into his private life with his fiance, Sahar Biniaz, who are set to get married this week. Now, ladies, you need to listen to this because you're going to die when you hear this, okay? okay so, okay, okay. the two of them were not going to be able to spend Valentine's Day together because they're always Aww. traveling the glow they're working really hard but Rake decided to surprise her he flew 36 hours to New York City where she was to spend one day with her on Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow. And then flew I thought back you were going to say he swam. No. All the way. Oh, oh my word. Oh, that would be even better. That's, that's love, love. Eh? Now, she wrote on Facebook, she said, I had the best Valentine's Day of my life. You know, a man really loves you when he flies across the world just to see you and surprise you for one day. I love you, Rake Nietzsche. Yo, oh. guys, Emma Rake, why are you Hashtag putting so much pressure on the rest of us? How are we supposed to be baying now? He's going all in, bro. He's going all in. It's wedding oh, week, my dude. Word. What are you going to do? Mm. We've got some more news on the Facebook crash <sighs> involving Generation Startup Olana Sipemo. Now, um, he's making really good progress in hospital at the moment, Thanks but the you. Sunday Independent is now reporting that the other two passengers in the car could have been hijackers. Now, we know that one of the passengers passed away, but the other passenger that was in the car is apparently under police, heavy police guard in hospital because he tried to escape. Now, leading police to think that the two of them were actually hijackers. Um, Brigadier Mashadi mm. Selepe is very reluctant to be giving more information until we can hear from Rapulana himself what happened. But apparently, he didn't know the two people in the car. Oh, man. And when we were speaking to his brother-in-law, we got a sense of the level of anxiety yeah. about the uncertainty around the incident yeah. itself. But um, Absolutely. scary stuff. Sure. But we do also have to mention that the families of the two other men who died who were in the other car, um, the other two men were Jerry Kortza and Donovan Van Sale. The, they are pleading with the public and the media to also recognize and give attention to the fact that they were in in this entire thing and of course uh, one of whom was a three-year-old son as well that was one of the victims so our thoughts and our prayers definitely do go to uh, those who lost their lives in this very tragic accident yes, absolutely so that's the latest where that is concerned right now where we change gears a little bit and talk about uh, digital addiction could you be one of those people that's really addicted and you don't even know it yet let's find out I don't know.